welcome to CHAIR. My name is Janelle and I will be working with you today on about a 30 minute basic chair workout. This is basic and for beginners, so if you haven't worked out before or if for some reason you need extra support of a chair, this is the class for you. Um, it doesn't really matter what type of chair you have, whether it has arms or not, whether it has wheels or not, as long as your wheels can lock so that your chair doesn't roll away, that's really the one thing we want to pay attention to is making sure that we're nice and stable and our chair isn't going to go anywhere. We're going to start at the edge of our chair. So if you happen to be sitting in your chair and just relaxing, <coughs> please take the time now to sit up at the edge of your chair. We want a right angle in the legs, ankles under knees, everything nicely in line. And we're gonna take a few deep breaths as we roll our shoulders back. Let's go for five, four, three. Take these deep breaths at your own pace. Two, and one. Nice work. Let's go ahead and we're gonna just do some heels. So what that means is we're gonna touch and bring it in, touch and bring it in. That's it, nice and easy. We're just gonna start with a little bit of a warm up. Good. And that's 10 total. We're going to do 10 more. Each side counts as one. Good. And you can feel free to rest your hands on your legs. That gives you a little more weight. Or you can keep your hands on your chair or just down if you don't want the additional weight of your hands on your legs. Push and bring it back. Good. Just warm up the chest a little. And you can begin to flex the wrist if you like. Nice work. A little high five action to the screen. Looking good. And one more time. And then, still sitting up tall with our shoulders back. <coughs> still sitting up tall with our shoulders back. Chin up, chest up. Belly button pulled in tight, so we want to pull our belly button tight in toward the spine. This helps protect our back. And if it feels good to your low back, we're going to begin pushing side to side with a little bit of trunk rotation. You can turn your head as well. Really just working on this warm up. Nice work. Three more sets. And two. And one. Now we're going to begin pressing up. As we press up, we're also going to lift our heels, okay? Warming up the calves and the shoulders. If your shoulder doesn't have good range of motion, you need to start kind of small. Do that. I just want you to push as high as you can comfortably. Some people don't have the range of motion to straighten their arm all the way out, and that's okay. Work at your own level. I think we have five left. Four, don't forget to lift your heels. Three more. Two to go. And one. Good, we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna to start to touch out. We're just gonna to touch to the side and right back in, then to the other side and right back in. Again, hands can be on the legs for a little extra weight or you can hold onto your chair or just rest your arms or let them hang. 
Keep moving. <clears throat> I'm looking at my foot. I'm rotating my head slightly, continuing to warm up my neck. that arm push that we were doing along with this tap. Same side, we're going to reach and reach. Good. I have to go maybe with a little more lean, maybe a little more space between your feet. Maybe a little more reach with your arms and your legs. Give me two more sets. And one. Nice work. From here, again, we're going to remind ourselves to sit up tall, roll our shoulders back, chin up, chest up. And we're going to start a little walk. Let's start with the legs. Nice and small. Now, if this is difficult for you, then we're just going to lift your heels. And that's totally acceptable as well. And we're also going to begin to pump our arms. So choose your level. We're just going to hang out here, warming everything up a little bit. Nice work. We're going to want to start to feel our heart rate come up just slightly. or a little slower. You don't need to match my pace. This should be at your own pace, whatever is right for you. Nice work. Good. And let's go ahead and still our bodies. Let's start with a little swim. We're going to continue with our warm-up, taking things up just a little bit. We're going to have our palms forward, and we're going to start to scoop. Big scoops as we pull the opposite elbow back, and then big reach with the opposite arm as the other elbow comes back. So we want to have a big full range of motion swim. Nice work. Big reach. Big pull, as if you're coming through the water and pulling yourself through. Nice work. I notice my body starting to get warmer. That's what you want to feel. Bigger movements. Good work. Readjust if you found yourself slouching or moving back in your chair. Go ahead and reset. Hands on the legs if you're comfortable there with this additional weight. Otherwise, you can just bring your hands to your chair or down. And we're going to do out, out, in, in. This is a little ladder drill, we'll call it. Step out right and left. Then back in right and left. Take your time here. Remember, this is a basic beginner's class. <clears throat> So be gentle with yourself. Three more sets. And two. And one. Now we're just going to switch the lead. That means which leg goes first. So now we're going to have the left leg go first. Out, out, in, in. Nice work. Let's keep it going at your own pace, of course. You can even pump your arms if you're feeling like that works for you. Five more sets. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice. We're going to sit up tall. 
We're going to work a little shoulder and arm, a little bicep and tricep. We're going to bring our arms out shoulder height, right in front of the face. So we start here nice and strong. We bring them just in front of the face, just under the chin, and we're going to make circles. Slow circles. Take your time. We're going to hang out here, warming things up. And gently and slowly, you can take things a little bit faster if you like. Elbows up and out. Don't let them droop down towards your sides. Keep them up, please. If you feel a little warmth, a little tingling or burning sensation in your shoulder, that's just fine. Keep on breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. At your own pace. Take your time. Nice work. And we call this a speed bag. A lot of times you'll see it a lot faster. And we're gonna stop and just switch direction. Nice work. Shoulders and arms starting to feel warm. That's great. Good. Let's take it up a little bit higher in front of the face. Nice, don't let your elbows droop. Good, and release. <sighs> nice job, roll those shoulders back, five. Four, don't forget to breathe. Two more. And one. Good. Okay, we're gonna do a little chair burpee. I know this can be done in a lot of ways. This is the most gentle. Remember to keep your feet flat on the floor, right ankle in your legs. And we're going to reach toward the floor. Maybe you don't touch and that's okay. Maybe you start really gentle and not touching the floor and work your way up. So we're going to reach toward the floor. Palms come in front of the chest. And then as we push up, we're going to lift our heels. Abs in tight. Remember to keep your belly button pulled in tight towards your spine. We're going to lean forward, reach toward the floor. Touch if you can, but you don't have to. And lift your heels. Good. Touch. Bring it in and lift. Nice. Good. Let's do five more. Nice work and rest. Roll those shoulders back. Why do we keep rolling our shoulders back? Usually, when we're sitting in a chair, we're hunched over, we're at our computer desks, and everything kind of leans in and forward. So we want to make sure we have great posture. We're reminding our shoulders to roll back and down, and we're sitting up tall. Okay, here we go. We're going to play a little basketball. So we're going to take the ball. We're going to pass it to our neighbor. We're sitting up tall with our belly button pulled in tight. Shoulders back and down. We're going to have a little rotation as we pass. And catch. Pass. And catch. Push away. And catch. Good. Take this at your own pace. Keep it going, you're halfway there. Nice work, put that ball down. We're gonna do some kicks. It's totally up to you, the level at which you do this. We're going to do a push kick. So what we want to do is push, driving through the heel, bring it in, and down. So it's one to lift, two to push, three to bend, and four to come back down. You can keep this small, just lifting and extending. Good. So here we go, 10 total, both sides equals one. Push kick, and down. 
push kick. That's one. Keep going. You're doing great. If you need to, you can always touch your heel to the ground instead of pushing if that works better for your body. challenging. Three more sets. The quads and the hip flexors will really feel this. Two more sets. And one more time. And rest. Good job. Let's roll those shoulders back. Four. I'm sorry, five. Three more. We're going to do a little kickboxing. We're going to do a series of punches and then we'll add in some kicks. And this will be at the height of our cardiovascular exercise for today. Um, once we get the kicks and the punches going all together, you should feel your heart rate come up a little bit. Maybe get a little bit of a glisten. We're going to bring our fists, tuck those thumbs in, right down at the chin. And we're just going to extend almost all the way without locking our elbow out completely and bring it back in. And we want this to be sort of a quick move. And we want this to be sort of a quick movement. And bring it out there and right back in. So let's begin. 10, nine. And we're shooting for the nose of our opponent. So that will give you a good idea on where you want to shoot for. I think I've lost count, so let's call this the halfway point. Four, three, two, and one. Now with abs in tight, we're gonna cross, cross, and cross. Maybe you have more than one opponent and you need to push them away. That's great, keep going. Look the direction you're punching. Halfway there. Three to go. And two. And one. Good. We're going to do a little uppercut. Uppercut comes to the chin of your opponent. So we're going to do a little scoop and punch up. Scoop and punch up. And then we're going to come right back to where we started, okay? Good. Halfway there. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're gonna do a hook. The hook comes to the cheek of your opponent. We wanna start with our fists still right in front of the face, just at the chin. We're gonna come around and follow through. So we're not gonna stop at the cheek. We're just gonna do a little follow through. You want your palm to be facing you. We don't wanna leave with the pinky. We wanna turn it in, okay? And this will help you later if you decide to do any kickboxing or any of Pam's boot camp in a chair. This will help you a little bit with the form and just getting the feel of the movements. Let's do five, four. Bands kickboxing is also really fun and she gives a lot of um, modifications. So if you are a beginner and you want to try regular standing kickboxing, I encourage you to check out her modifications and give it a try. Good, so we're coming back to the jab and we're going to do same leg. Push kick. Drive through the heel. Good. Here we go. You can do this. Once 
once we're done with this series, it'll be time to cool down. Five more sets. Four. Three. Two more. And one. Now we have a little brain work here. When we cross right, we're going to kick left. Oh, think about that for a minute. For some people, this might be a little difficult. And that's okay. The things that are hardest for us are the things that our body needs the most very often. Let's go to that uppercut. Remember to the chin, to the chin. We'll do same sides. Upper, upper. Good. Three more sets. Two more. Hardest one yet. We're going to do the opposites. We're going to hook around. Opposite foot kicks. Ready to go? Here we are. Looking good. You're almost there. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Nice work. Sit up tall. Roll those shoulders back for five. Nice work. Three, two, and one. We're just going to go for a little walk. We're going to let the heart rate come down nice and easy. Remembering to breathe. Remember, you can just lift the heels. Good. Almost there. Nice work. Slow it down a little more. And one more time. A little slower. A little slower. Good work. Last time to roll those shoulders back. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Let's take a deep breath in. We're going to put our palms together. Abs in tight, sitting up nice and tall. And we're just going to lean to one side. Stay here and breathe. If you can't reach, then maybe you're down here. Or maybe you just bring your hands here and lean with us. We've got a lot of options. And let's switch to the other side. Nice and easy, super gentle. And center. Bring your hands in front of your chest, and we're just going to press them in. And release your fingers, and we're going to push away. Palms face out and away, and we drop our chin to chest, keeping your belly button pulled in tight, sitting up tall. You want to think of your shoulder blades pulling apart from each other here. Good work, and let's go ahead and release that. Nice job. We're going to straighten out one leg with a flexed foot, and we're just going to do a little point and flex. Nice. Three more, and two, one more time, and let's do the other side, flex, and point, three more, two, and one, and bring it in, go. 
good. Right palm up. We're just going to pull it down slightly, not a big huge pull. Nothing should hurt, nothing should be uncomfortable. You just want to feel this through the forearm, maybe a little bit through your bicep. And release and let's just take that wrist around for five. Nice work. Let's do the other side. Palm up and pull it down gently. Nice work and release. And let's take that wrist again around. Nice job. Now you can do this. I'm going to turn my chair just so you can see what I'm doing. Now you can do this behind your chair or sit forward and enter your legs behind yourself. And we're just going to press the fists back and down. So not directly into your chair, but at an angle. So kind of in this little lip here of the V of your chair, you're going to press and look up. We really just want to stretch out the chest here. Chin up, chest up, sitting up tall. Remember your breath. Nice work. We're going to do one more <coughs> shoulder roll, but we're going to use our elbows. And we're going to do five. Good. Three more. Two, and one, and I'm going to turn just so we can see each other and meet each other's eyes for this one last deep breath in. This is going to finish us off for today. Deep breath in together, and exhale it down. Give me two more like that. Nice work. Last time we're going to put our palms together overhead. And if you know me and take my classes, this is always how we end class. We bring it to heart center. We always want to be grateful for the opportunity that we have to work out on any level that is available to us. And be grateful to ourselves for taking the time to take care of ourselves. Have a great day.